Hello and welcome back to Earth Star Observatory. I'm Lily Walker and I'm an astrologer and a religious educator practicing classical astrology from a foundation of esoteric studies and the perennial wisdom teachings. And today I'm here to offer the first video in the learning series on revolutions and forecasting the death of Ivan the Terrible. I want to remind you that this publication I'm getting ready to share is available on my website, uh, freely available for download. Um, it's under the products page. And in addition, there are some other um, easings on there as well. Okay, so this is the publication. Ivan Vasilievich, Ivan the Terrible, an astrological character sketch plus a macabre game of chess using classical predictive astrology to forecast the date of Ivan's death. The Joust. Late in the day, beneath an eighth house Virgo sun, I was out taking my good dog Penny Pentacles for a walk when I heard this story piping through my AirPods via Audible. As the sun set upon the terrible day that Ivan Vasilievich tragically killed his only living son and heir, Ivan Ivanovich, in a fit of rage, he went dark. And in his darkness, he sent out a wolf call. Gather an assembly of the kingdom's most talented and reputable astrologers and bid them to forecast the time of my death or die by the fire themselves. As the story goes, the date they came up with was March 18th, 1584. When the morning came and Ivan was still alive, he called in the assembly of astrologers ready to condemn the lot for their seemingly inaccurate calculation. The astrologers responded saying, the day is not over yet, your holiness, your majesty, wait and see. Later that afternoon, as the king sat down to a game of chess, it was noted that his king fell over three times. And on the third strike, Ivan the Terrible toppled over as well. Before sundown on March 18th, 1584, as foretold, Ivan Vasilievich was dead. This story is a retelling of Gary Lockman's account of Ivan the Terrible in Holy Russia told to me via Audible. With the joust I received and hearing of this macabre game of chess, amusement bedazzled me and I got a wicked idea. I would compose an astrology write-up illustrating the use of the predictive methods of classical astrology in action by making Ivan the Terrible my subject and trying my hand at predicting his death. The truth of the matter was, thanks to the written works of Charles Aubert and Martin Genstein on the topic, as well as some real-time words of encouragement from both teachers, I had quite a few newly learned tools and techniques parlayed up for a game of practice. Predicting the time of death is well within the wheelhouse of the classical predictive package, and I expected that the death transits in the chart for the day Ivan Vasilievich died to make a rather impressive specimen. But there was also something else that drew me to choose Ivan as a subject of study. Listening to his story, I noticed that there's something in the retelling of it that almost begs modern students of astrology to look at Ivan's chart. And this very dark crowning moment of his soul's utter defeat, he calls out, look at my chart. Honestly, there's something amusing about that for those of us who know our own charts. Many of us can relate to that feeling when impulse has overridden forethought and we were left howling, oh my stars, and look at my chart. Sometimes, most times, where society sees a terrible monster, a mother, a good mother, sees a tragedy. And in some ways, that's also what it means to be a good astrologer. A good astrologer sees the imprint of the soul, why it came and what it hoped to learn and accomplish. Both a good astrologer and a good mother see the soul, not the twisted heap of conditioned response. 
Ivan was no stranger to astrology. He was reported to be quite erudite in general and seems to have had at least a basic utilitarian interest in predictive and perhaps medical astrology. On this dark day, Ivan asked us to look at his chart and to predict his death. So that's what we're going to do. The predictive method from classical astrology that we are going to use as our master tool involves an integrated use of multiple techniques to reveal the probable themes, content, and flavor of a particular real year or revolution. This method takes into consideration the natal chart, primary directions, perfections, the solar return, and the transits to consider how they work together to judge the revolution. My aim here is hopefully to help you learn a little bit about Ptolemy's predictive package by showing it in action. Along the way, I hope you also catch a glimpse of Ivan Vasilievich through a mother's eyes. So without further ado, Ivan, the more tragic than terrible. <laughs> 